McDermott's ex, Mary Jo Eustace, claims he still hasn't paid her months of child support. Is he just telling you he doesn't have the money, or where does that, what's the explanation? Well, I guess that's part, that's part of the explanation, right? So, I mean, but how many ex-husbands say that? And that's not really the case. Eustace and McDermott are parents to teenage son Jack. She tells ET she and her ex are trying to work any issues out outside of a courtroom. Of course, McDermott is now married to Tori Spelling. Is there anyone you think he could borrow money from? He could always ask Candy. I mean, he could say... <laughs> <laughs> Can you lend me a dime? Eustace is working to provide for her two kids. She just released a new cookbook. Ironically, Dean and Tori just aired a family cooking special. He's got his hands full. <laughs> so, yeah. what, what do you think he has his hands full? Well, he's got a lot of children. Do you ever feel like your family takes a backseat to his other life? Um, yes, of course you do feel that. Yeah. yeah, you do feel that. Especially, you know, with my son, I felt that for a long time. and. And, you know, it's very well documented that we were married and in the process of adopting our daughter and, and he, um, you know, chose not to go through, the, through the, with the adoption, so that was pretty major. That was the biggest casualty, I would say. Lola suffers from alopecia, and her daughter's diagnosis inspired Mary Jo to write this new gluten-free cookbook, Scared Wheatless. Mary Jo says going gluten-free helped Lola grow her hair back. She opened up to ET about the moment Lola was diagnosed. I just went in the room and cried because I just, out of the blue, I didn't, you know, and our hair, it's such an important thing in our culture and we would talk a lot about inner beauty and how important that is and that whatever happened on her head had no effect on who she was and as a person so we really talked a lot about that.